What's going on guys? It is, what is today? Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. I am Sebastian. This is my wife Cheyenne behind the camera. Over there is Oliver chilling. Hopefully he doesn't start causing a ruckus. I went thrifting real quick, so I just wanted to show you guys what I found. So let's just stop talking about it, get right into it. First things first, the brand American Giant. I guarantee you most people will never have heard of this. What it is, is just a small niche made in USA company. They just make men's basics. They kind of focus on hoodies and t-shirts and just sweatshirts and all around just kind of basic look. Hmm? Lounge wear, yeah, that's a good wear, leisure wear. But it's a high-end brand. This thermal, uh, I paid five bucks for and retail price. I think these go for around 60 or 70 bucks, uh, brand new. But I'm gonna keep this for myself. If I were to sell it on eBay, we'd probably get around 30 to 35 bucks for it. But yeah, be on the lookout for it. This is actually a women's. We were talking about it earlier. Oh, this is a I'll women's. That, okay, you. well, Cheyenne's gonna keep that. <laughs> be on the lookout for those small niche brands that people don't know about. If something says made in USA or made in Los Angeles, look at it. Like it might be interesting enough that it's worth your time. So just learn that stuff. Okay, this was the best find of today. It's gonna be a little bit hard to show you guys, but it is a North Face ski suit, guys. Okay, let me tell you one thing. When it comes to winter stuff, these things are like the pinnacle of whatever you could buy. A North Face jacket is cool, but a North Face snowsuit is a North Face snowsuit. These things are rare. You will not find these often. This is the first North Face one that I have found in three years of doing this. So don't think that you're gonna find these all the time. Um, this one was in absolutely fantastic condition. This thing needs a wash, but it looks brand new. I paid 30 bucks for this, guys. That's how serious I am about this thing. We're gonna get at least 120 bucks for this and like relatively quickly. I'm probably gonna list it even aggressively like at 150, just because the condition is so, so good. With these, always just make sure in the common points, like on any pants, you wanna check the, oh, and look, I missed the little hole there. Look at that, well, the seam is loose, see? Look at that, that's live right there. I didn't see that in the store. This thing looks brand new, but the seam is a little bit loose on the, uh, the bottom there, but it's not a big deal. That's just dirty. A little bit dirty here, it needs a wash, but yeah. That little seam, let me just show you guys. Don't be scared away by something like that. You see how it's literally on the seam there? That will take someone maybe all of three seconds to fix. Like that is not even damage or an issue. This thing will, even with that, we'll get at least a hundred bucks for this thing easily. So just be on the lookout for these things. Columbia ones sell well. Just be on the lookout, okay? They're hard to find. If you find crazy colored ones, definitely pay up for those. <sighs> the reason I love thrifting is when they just like mess up and just price things really oddly. This, these are $3.99. <laughs> They're Columbia Covert uh, snow pants. They're in fantastic shape. Again, they just need a wash. Let's, before I say fantastic shape, let's check the crotch on these. Crotch looks good. We're good to go. Thank goodness. Um, when it comes to Columbia pants, they'll make just basic shell pants. They'll make like um, specialty ones, like GRT, Columbia Titanium, all of that stuff. There's a bunch of different sublines of the brand Columbia. These are the Covert model, okay? Um, I am not exactly sure what that means. I probably should, but I'm assuming that they're just kind of like a transitional, more of like a, a plain pant that you can wear out, but then you can also wear skiing. So that's what I assume these are. We've bought and sold these all the time and they go for around 35 bucks in this condition. Okay, so this next two things I also did pay up for, but there's also two of them. So let me just show you these side by side. They're the same exact pant. They're Eddie Bauer cargo pants, okay? If you watch our other videos, we also mentioned this in another one where we said like cargo pockets are great. People love these things. The more the better. These are really awesome because the cargo pockets like literally go pretty much all the way down the leg. So if you have a lot of stuff to store in the apocalypse of 2020, you really wanna get pants with cargo pockets. Um, for some reason, people just, they love cargo pants. Cargo pants and cargo shorts sell so well. And especially like the Eddie Bauer demographic is already hitting that kind of like middle-aged white man that wears this anyways. And they love cargo pockets. So it's like a double whammy. So you need to know your market. And you need to know what they wear. Moving on. These looked like just basic dress pants, but they're actually Adidas golf pants. Okay. If these were dress pants, I would totally pass on them because guys let's let's get serious real quick about one thing 
do not waste your time on buying like men's suits and men's suits separates. They're almost always a waste of your time, especially dress pants. It's just a huge, huge waste of time. Retail prices for some like menswear like that is super, super high, but you will never, ever, ever get anywhere close to that online. Most like suit jackets and suit pants, it doesn't matter what the retail is, you're gonna get about 30 bucks online for them. Like they just don't sell, it's wild. Like sure, some brands will still bring you hundreds of dollars if you get super, super lucky. But overall in my three years of thrifting, I've never made money once selling a used piece of men's suiting, even though I was in the men's suiting world in New York City and I know what to look for. So just a note on that. Going back to these, these are Adidas golf pants. Uh, they got a little bit of stretch, but these are super cool because they got, again, this pattern. Um, these were $4.99, but they were also 30% off. So whatever the math adds up there. Uh, we mentioned this brand a few days ago on another video, uh, Salt, well, Salt Valley Western. This is just another pearl snap shirt. We'll get around 30 to 35 bucks for this because it's in great shape. Just a small, another niche Western brand that a lot of people don't know about. Another small brand, kind of small brand, I guess, that a lot of people don't know about, Howler Bros. This shirt, again, I don't know much about this company. I'm assuming it's something Western related, but I learned about it years ago in Utah. This shirt, we're going to get around 35 bucks for, I assume. Um, maybe 30, but I'm assuming a little bit higher end on there because it is a cool pattern and we paid $3.99 for it. Now this, I couldn't find any comps, but again, I paid $6.99 for it. Like how can you pass up on a thick insulated winter jacket like this for $6.99, but I bought it because I had the AT&T embroidery on it. Now you guys would pass on that, that would scare you, but to me that excites me. To me that means it's a niche market and it means that it's worth more money, okay? Some guy that works at AT&T is gonna buy this from me very, very shortly and I will probably get around $60 for this, I'm guessing. Probably 50 to $60, maybe even a few bucks more because this thing looks brand new. Don't pass on workwear and uniforms, guys. Remember, people have jobs where they have to wear uniforms and those jobs require them to look clean and upkept and like all that stuff. So buy this stuff when you can find it, especially like UPS stuff and FedEx stuff. That's, oh, it sells so well. People skip on it all the time, all the time. Okay. So, sorry I'm passionate about this stuff, guys. A lot of resellers just don't know these things and they just pass on FedEx shorts and all this stuff. But moving on to something everyone knows, Woolrich, it's nothing, nothing special. It's just a basic women's sweater, but it had a super cute little pattern there for a bunch of sheeps and trees. And this is my favorite Woolrich sweater we've ever found. Yeah, it's, it's cute. It's so cute. Yeah, and for six bucks, you can't beat it. Now this was really cool. This is interesting. So this is a 1984 GE baseball satin bomber jacket. Now I am not a wizard. It literally says produced in 1984 for this company for baseball. Okay, so I am not that talented nor smart. But the back is super cool. It's got the USA and with the election uh, happening right now, I'm assuming this will go for a good premium. This thing is in fantastic condition. When it comes to white or cream colored merchandise, you really, really, really wanna get it clean. Avoid any nasty stains, especially when it comes to this like vintage stuff. This one had comps on it and they sell for around 30 to 50 bucks. We will get the higher end of that because it is in great shape. So moving on, while Cheyenne grabs Oliver because he's being a little baby, something that we've talked about plenty, plenty times on this channel is cycling jerseys. Now this one may just look a little bit crazy, but it's actually Wisconsin University, which is awesome. $4.99 we paid for this. Guys, collegiate cycling jerseys, they do sell well and they sell pretty quickly. Um, again, condition is everything, make sure they're not beat up. But overall, these things are not that easy to find. You typically don't find college cycling jerseys, so be on the lookout for them when you do find them. Now, depending on the school, you can get anywhere from 25 to 50 bucks. It just really, really depends. Another military jacket, if you follow us, this is the second one for the week. This one we paid $12.99 for. This is the Field OG 107 jacket. Again, guys, I am not a wizard. It literally says that right here on the tag. What it also says it is the manufacturer. If you didn't know, anything military related is always contracted out to subcontractors. So your, your favorite brand in the world could actually have been a subcontractor for the military at one certain point. 
It's like Timex, they made watches back in the day. They make just normal consumer grade watches now, but they actually made military watches for the military. So things like that matter. This was by the company SoSo, and that's really relevant to this because if you know the company that made it, you can kind of date it a little bit more and that can bring more value to some people. Like it may be rare for some intrinsic value. This jacket, I didn't find, I, I haven't done that much research. Pretty much what I'm trying to say is they go from 60 to about $140 and I just need to nail it down as to which one um, this one's gonna fall into the range. But yeah, overall, this thing is in great shape. Be on the lookout for these things, guys. Like, don't pass them up. Just make sure, again, condition is everything. Make sure they're not too beat up. Okay, last couple things. I grabbed these as I was on my way out of the store. Back to cargo pockets. These are a little bit more work-related because they're actually Duluth Trading. This is a good little brand there. Um, it's not my favorite brand in the world to pick up, but I will pick it up when it's in good condition because it again is like a work wear kind of outer wear company. We paid $7.99 for these and I expect to get around 30 bucks for them because they're in fantastic shape. And then last but not least was this funky vintage, what brand was this, Sportful? Sportful, yeah, I've never heard of it, but it's a vintage cycling jersey. Really, really cool, really funky. Um, I don't expect to get a million bucks out of this, probably like 25 bucks, but we only paid five bucks for it. So I ended up going to three thrift stores at two thrift stores. I bought stuff. The last one, there was nothing there. It's a normal Wednesday morning. It's what, noon almost, and pretty much done for the day. We're gonna get this stuff checked in, get it photographed. That'll probably take about another hour and then we'll just be officially done. But guys, know what days thrift stores are good for you. Like I know Wednesdays are typically good for me because Tuesdays here is senior day. After senior day, they'll usually replenish the shelves a little bit more and they'll be a little bit more aggressive of pushing things out. Now, Tuesdays here suck. Mondays here suck. Fridays here are really busy. So guys, like you need to learn your market and you need to learn your local thrift stores and how they operate. But all that to say, I hope this was fun. If you guys like like this whatsoever make sure you like and subscribe it really helps our tiny channel grow if you want our free beginners course reselljunkie.com you can grab that there and also follow along in the blog because there's some cool stuff and then reselljunkie underscore on instagram for more behind the scenes <laughs> cheers cheers <laughs> <laughs>